Now we would like to show you how the pump is operating in the different operation modes, how to set up these modes. And um, for this reason, we have here installed a uh, Profi Tester tool, which can help us to simulate the analog signals, for example, or the pulse input. So we change in the menu, as already shown, to the multiplier, for example. And here, now we can use the multiplier of 10. For that, we push once the pulse input signal, and you will see here immediately that the multiplier will, will be counted. So, count it downwards. For each incoming pulse, it makes 10 strokes with the pump. On the second menu level, we have the so-called divisor. It's also in pulse input control possibility. So now we have here, uh, we need five pulses to make one stroke with the pump. As you can see here, I push on the button. One, two, three, and one stroke is done. On the next menu, we have the analog input. So on the analog input signal, we have the possibility from zero to 20 milliampere. And we can simulate here with this knob, for example, four, four milliampere. And as you can see, as soon as we have the four milliampere as an input signal, the pump will run with 23 strokes per minute. If I turn it up to 10 milliamp, the pump will run with 59, 60 strokes per minute. So, and then on the last possibility, we have the 4 to 20 milliampere. And by this, the pump runs with 44 stroke per minute on the same level with 10 milliampere. If I go down to 4 milliampere, the part stop, pump stops and shows null, zero strokes per minute um, as per the 4 milliampere is adjusted. The last possibility in operation menu, menu is the 4 to 20 milliampere signal. As the tester is now adjusted to 4 milliampere, the pump shows on the display of the AI electronic zero strokes per minute. So when I increase the analog signal up to 10 milliampere, the pump will increase also the speed of the motor and the stroke is now adjusted to 43 strokes per minute. The functionality of the 4 to milliampere is that we uh, can see easily on a control uh, that uh, the cable is, is broken, for example. And if, if we go lower than 4 milliampere, you will also see here on the menu that an error occurs on, on the display and the LED is flashing. Now I like to present and show you how uh, our AI electronic works with uh, external signals. For this, I would like to simulate external signals with our tool Profi Tester to give this as signals to our electro AI electronic. I start the uh, pump with the pushing the start stop button. Now the pump is in manual mode running. And with the tester, I can simulate an external stop signal. As you can see here, the pump stops and the LED changed to, to yellow. By give them signal back, the pump starts running again. Furthermore, you have the possibility to connect the section lens to our AI electronic. With the section lens, you can get two signals from the section lens, uh, a so-called pre-empty if the le level in the tank goes down, and an uh, empty signal if the tank is empty. These two signals can work with our AI electronic. So to show you how this works, I start the pump. With the simulator tool, I will now simulate the two different levels. The pre-empty level, for example, that means the electronic LED will change to a flashing green and red and show a symbol here in the display, meaning pre-empty. In case the level goes down and the tank is empty and the empty signal comes, the pump will also notice this and will stop the pump running. <laughs> 